Ruby Ridge, Waco, the attack against patriots and militias and other acts of aggression against the American people who might discover and combat this fraud are acts of war. They are designed to demonize fundamentalist Christians, Jews, Muslims, members of the Mormon Church, other religious fundamentalist organizations, the lawful constitutional militia described in the statutes and the United States Code, and anyone else who might fight in defense of the Constitution and our liberty and freedom. These terrorist acts deliver a message to the American people and to the people of the world that any, any opposition to the new world super government will be met with overwhelming force and the complete genocide of the enemies of socialism. The World Trade Center bombing, the bombing of the Oklahoma City Alfred P. Mura Federal Building, and mass shootings by mental and ex-mental patients of large numbers of men, women, and children in Stockton, California, and the most recent one, were and will continue to be intentional acts of war designed to spread terror and a feeling of helplessness. Most of the ex or current mental patients who have perpetrated these acts are in fact innocent victims of mind control projects that are in activation to further the interests of this socialist new world order. In my book, Behold a Pale Horse, I predicted that the first major terrorist attack upon the United States would take place in New York City. I was correct. I said that it would not stop there, and I've said on this broadcast that it would not stop there, that it would spread, and that these attacks and these shootings would continue until the American people get down on their knees and beg their slave masters to disarm them so that they can be more easily and more quickly enslaved. And the sheeple are falling for it, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, you have a problem? We have an answer. Oh, a building blew up in Oklahoma City? My goodness, let us protect you, for this could happen to any building. Let us take away your arms and ammunition so that you cannot protect yourself. <laughs> let us furnish your security. Trust us, we will be good to you. We will never become despotic or tyrannical. We would never, ever murder 86 people in a small Christian church in Waco, Texas, just because they had not paid a $200 tax for a supposed automatic weapon, which they never had in the first place. And of course, we would never shoot and murder a mother unarmed, who was guilty of no crime, wanted for nothing, standing in a doorway holding her baby to her breast. We will protect you. Give us your guns. Give us your arms. Let us take care of you. We will save you from yourselves. Isn't that, isn't that what we hear? You are right in being terrified of police officers. Yeah. Now, not all police officers are bad. I understand that. I know at least one who's very good. <laughs> and there are probably a lot more. Uh, but most police officers today are dangerous, very, very dangerous, and they do not have the best interest of the public in mind. They are, they are serving an agenda that they're not even aware of. They break the law every day. They're performing unconstitutional acts, and they have terrified the public. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. Some of these same voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. You should reject these voices. All of us need to demand a Congress brave enough to stand up to the gun lobby's lies.